Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. They're polite. I mean, they just take the time for you. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. I like the Angels for what they've done for me. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients. Eagle Community Television presents Community Connection with your host, Mike Cooper. Hello and welcome again to Community Connection from Eagle Community Television. Thanks for watching. Thanks as always to the producer of our series and editor, Jeff Durall. We're at the Robin Center on the campus of Fort Hayes State University, visiting with Executive Director of the Fort Hayes State University Alumni Association, Deborah Prideau as we talk about 100 years of alumni activities at Fort Hayes State, uh, reaching its peak at homecoming with several events, including the uh, uh, opening of the murals and the next part of Journey at Fort Hayes State in the Union, uh, Joel Dugan's work, the Robin Center itself, of course, home of the Alumni Association, and the Kansas Board of Regents during homecoming, announcing at the same time that Fort Hayes State has now become the third largest university in Kansas with 14,658 students at Fort Hayes State. And of course, uh, alumni director, Deborah Prudeau. Hello, Mike. It's wonderful to have you here in our home. Tell me about the history of the Alumni Association. Depends how much time you have. <laughs> uh, yes, 100 years is a long time, but when you look at it, it's actually a short time. Uh, we first had or learned about uh, the history in 1916 and there was a movement on campus that it was very important to stay connected to the alumni of the university. So they started their alumni activities and they had part-time activities throughout that year and the years thereafter as far as connecting and staying connected with the alums of the university. Uh, they instituted $5 uh, life dues, alumni life dues, and they utilized that money because they wanted a directory. They wanted to know where everyone was and where they went to and how to stay connected to them. Throughout the years thereafter, they uh, engaged in and put together activities for commencement, for homecoming. And you know, as much as you look that you think, think times have changed, so too the times have stayed the same. For instance, we still do commencement, we still do homecoming. Uh, we moved into it, they had awards, we have awards. Uh, but as we moved along, um, the lady who took care of records at that time was a librarian, and her name was Lulu Bice. And we added alumni news. Uh, we had an alumni news tabloid that we put together, and we had information of names and whatnot. But we never had a full-time executive director or a full-fledged alumni association until it was about 1928 uh, when Nita Landrum, was asked uh, by then President William Lewis mm -hmm. to become the first director, the executive director of this association. So she founded it and, and the rest is history and away we went. Now we've had seven full-time alumni directors uh, and she of course was the first one and the longest serving one in 30 plus years. And we've made a lot of connections through the years as we've had our programming. Uh, we have uh, newspapers, communication, social media, mm -hmm. event planning, on and on and on uh, in working with the alumni of Fort Hayes State. Well, your association with Fort Hayes State has certainly been a long-standing one. Uh, 1983 from Salina with your nine-year-old daughter. Uh, we did come from Salina, absolutely, and I did want to go to college. And so we looked at a variety of institutions, and when I say we, again, we're that family unit, and that's one of the things that's so important about Fort Hayes State is that family unit. But we really found a home when we came to Fort Hayes State, and very quickly, 
uh, we ended up getting here and becoming indoctrinated into this campus. And at the same time, it was wonderful because my daughter had an opportunity to meet and interact fully with her grandparents. You know, she was around her grandparents, but our schedules were such that we were always coming and going all the time. But this way, we were able to come to Hayes, and my parents are from Hayes. My mother uh, was from the Catherine area. My father was from Shanshan. So at the same time I was going to school, I had more interaction with my family. But as I, I went to school and finished my degrees here with the university, um, my daughter, Lola, she was with me the whole time. I mean, I remember studying in, in Forsyth Library together. We'd go to games, and at the time it was the NAIA that we were here, and we would just go the different activities throughout campus. So she became very much indoctrinated into this campus. Well, and you and our producer, Jeff Durall, already have found a, a Volga yes, German absolutely. tie, I We think. do have that Volga German <laughs> tie. With a lot of family members, and of course, the emphasis at Fort Hayes State uh, is something that is family and connectivity, isn't it, Deborah? It is, and that's what's very interesting about our alumni base. Uh, we have 63,000 living alumni. They're living throughout the United States in 75 foreign countries. And I always encourage everyone that when you leave this university, wear those tiger black and gold colors proudly because you never know mm -hmm. who you might run into. And it could, whether it's in the United States, in Hayes, Kansas, or it could be in Paris. Mm -hmm. Someone may see that black and gold and come up to you. And that has happened to me before. Mm -hmm. um, when people see our tiger credit card, they see a sweatshirt, uh, they see the tiger tag on my car, and they'll stop me, and they definitely want to connect back to this family. And you have been a tiger for as long as our association goes. I Absolutely. mean, a strong advocate for Fort Hayes State University. Fort Hayes State is a tremendous institution, and, and aside from the growth, look at the accolades that we have received. Um, our alumni go all over the world and make impact on the world and the people within the world. And it's, it's truly um, our pleasure to work with all of them and, and to be able to give back. Now, as an association, uh, we, in essence, serve as the bridge or the connectivity between the university once uh, the graduate leaves. Uh, we look at programs and services and what we might provide to give them the opportunity to stay connected to this university and to give back to this university. And it's amazing, too, the, the scope. As you mentioned, I'm glad you brought that up because it touches business and commerce and education and Absolutely. government. And we could add leadership into that as well with some, what, 63,000 living alumni in 75 foreign countries. That's astounding, Deborah. It is. And those are the living. Uh, for those that have passed already, they, too, have had a tremendous impact on the world. Mm -hmm and the ind individuals that live in that world. Alumni Association, of course, obviously uh, focuses on traditional events, as you said, but there are new programs that are being introduced as well. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we always have our tried and true, the commencement, and we have homecoming weekend reunions, our alumni chapters. In the last number of years, we've started a number of new programs, and we have our Kansas Educational Tiger License Plate Program, and we've also call, uh, started what's called the shirt, the tiger shirt, and those are done each year. We design a shirt, and we sell the shirts, and both of those programs provide funding for the Tiger Generational Scholarship. So now we have scholarship established for both a first year or a second, or first generation and also a second generation uh, student coming to Fort Hayes State. Uh, one of our new programs is the mentoring program in which we've started this year with a pilot program and we have 135 freshmen paired with alumni again throughout the United States as mentors. So they have that connectivity and, and the foundation or the basis that we can provide the current students as they move their way through the educational system here at the university. What a marvelous idea, too, because of the mentoring factor from those who've been there, basically, Deborah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And they've been on the campus, they've been out in the real world, but that connection uh, will provide that foundation for our students to succeed. The other program that has just kicked off this last year is what we call the Alumni Life Cycle. And our programming will be starting when we have the infants 
or the baby tiger cubs <laughs> all the way through their entire life and how we might program to them. You know, we have the, the, the students or the, or the small children, and then as they come through, we'll be working with them in the camps and different things that we have on campus. Also, when they're uh, interested as far as going to through the admissions process, we'll work through that and then through our scholarships. And we have our travel programs that we provide now uh, for all ages. So we have a full range of programming that we're doing and planning to do to keep up with a successful university. Well, you already have some real world experience in that uh, with Lola and those other uh, grandchildren who are uh, fast becoming uh, future tigers, I think, Deborah. Absolutely, and uh, I was fortunate enough, aside from myself graduating from this university, my daughter mm -hmm. also has two degrees. And then uh, she met another tiger, a fellow tiger, mm -hmm. and they are now married in western Kansas and have four beautiful children, my grandchildren, who are very tied into the tiger community and the tiger family. They come to games, they go to camps, they walk the campus. Recently we just had another event in northwest Kansas and they stay involved in all of that too. So someday I'm hoping I have more tigers in our family as we move forward. Something else that uh, I know you've been heavily involved in is promotion of Fort Hay State, obviously through the alumni office, but in actual physical showing up at events uh, across western Kansas and even further uh, to highlight the advantages of Fort Hay State. Absolutely, we have our alumni chapter system and we have events again both inside and outside of Kansas. Uh, we just recently uh, had an event at Topeka that was very, very successful, held in conjunction with the Washburn game. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out like we wanted, uh, but we are keyed up for we've got an event going at KU and also at Emporia coming the weeks ahead. But then I'll be traveling to Houston and Dallas and I'm going into Chicago and I'll be going into Denver a number of times. So we're constantly on the go. With alumni base at large, our Tiger family is everywhere and so we want to get out and meet as many folks as we can and bring the good news and help them stay connected with the university. Well that connectivity is something that's very important to not only keeping in touch with alums but also in recruitment efforts, isn't it, Deborah? Absolutely, and again, being the third largest university, and I, I like to repeat that to everyone <laughs> I talk to, the third largest university in the state of Kansas that does make all the after. Tell me about uh, a little bit about uh, the work at the Alumni Association with your staff. I know uh, it can't be a one-person job as big uh, a scope as this has. Uh, we have a relatively small staff and, mm -hmm. and when you look at everything that we do uh, we have six full-time employees uh, currently and then we have a student staff that mm -hmm. we have uh, each semester that that changes mm -hmm. uh, with available students and work dollars that we have uh, but we count on each and every one of them uh, they are very connected a number of them are Fort Hay State alums mm -hmm and familiar with the university, but I cannot say enough about the staff that we have here at the alumni office. Talk to alums across the world in those 75 countries. Uh, connectivity, of course, through the internet now mm -hmm. with Fort Hayes mm -hmm. State and the Alumni Association. Uh, we do everything socially, of course, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, any type of Twitter, uh, YouTube, different things such as that. Uh, we do have uh, a variety of different electronic means, our electronic newsletter, the Tiger Talk, our web page. We've just brought to conclusion our FHSU magazine and beginning this fall uh, into winter the university will now publish uh, the Roar magazine and it's a university-wide magazine. Um, so we've just finished all the different years that we've published through that, uh, but we stay connected in a variety of different means. The quote that I want to leave uh, our community connection with from Deborah Perdue, Executive Director of the Fort Hayes State Alumni Association. Deborah said, there is no better place on earth than Fort Hayes State University. I think that sums it up extremely well, Deborah. Absolutely. I'm so proud to be a Tiger and to support this university, and I would ask all of you to join me in those efforts. The best is yet to come. 
the recruiting never ends. <laughs> During the Alumni Association Executive Director Community Connection, Deborah Perdue. Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. And the angel care nurse come to see me once a week. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. Angel Care has helped uh, to stay home. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients.